The fate of at least 20 members of parliament representing special interest groups in the UPDF, youth and workers categories, hangs in the balance. The Constitutional Court yesterday blocked the forthcoming elections for three interest groups after discovering that the existing laws governing the election to parliament were unconstitutional. Now, government says the ruling came as a surprise and will in the meantime file an appeal to the Supreme Court. The Attorney General's office has lodged notice of appeal and we shall apply for state of execution in the Supreme Court uh, to, to ensure that justice is not only done but is seen to be done even at the highest level of our courts of judicature. The unanimous judgment made by five justices, Augustine Shimie, Remy Kasule, Robia Piyowori, Richard Butera, and Frederick Gondantende. However, remains vague on the fate of the MPs. There is no order from the court directing the sitting members of this house to vacate their seats. The petitioners, Moses Mauko and Katrina Neno, in 2010, under Article 137, filed a petition challenging the Parliamentary Elections Act and I wish the election for some special groups was elected. Article 15 of the National Youth Council Act gives powers to the National Conference to elect these five representatives, which contravenes Article 2 of the Constitution. Article 2, subsection 2 of the Constitution states that any other law or custom that is against any provision of the Constitution is not valid. Now, these special interest groups directly fall in the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. We're going to work very, very hard uh, with the AA. Attorney General to come up with the, with the law to see if we can amend uh, the Constitution, the Parliamentary Act. We are going to sit as a team and look at pushing more efforts so that government brings these amendments as immediate as possible. That one we shall. Deputy Speaker Jacob Bolanya also said that the ruling does not in any way affect the internal political party processes of selecting special group representatives. What the law that is challenged relates to the, elect the national elections conducted under Please, national election conducted under the laws enacted by this parliament. That's what that has been announced. Yes. But the party's procedures to have a candidate for a particular office is not affected. The UPDF's representation has been an area of contention over the years, challenging the fact that under the current multi party dispensation, the army must steer clear of partisan politics. Court okayed election of representatives of people living with disabilities. Shiran Duchere, NTV Parliament.